All right, seems like we are live. Okay, perfect. So uh, as you guys start kind of joining into this live, uh, my name is Gabriel. I am the automotive content manager for DuPont Registry. And today I wanted to hop on this live really quick to show you the car we are testing this week. Uh, this is the car that's gonna get a full written review on the blog and also a video for our YouTube page. And obviously now we're posting on social media. So uh, I'm gonna give you a quick walk around of this car and uh, drop in your questions, anything you want to know. I pretty sure I remember everything with the press release, but uh, uh, if, if there's any questions I don't know, I'll re reference that really quickly. So uh, this is none other than the brand new Maserati MC20. And uh, the MC20, the name is significant because it basically refers to Maserati's return to motorsport in 2020. Uh, this car is also significant for the future of the brand because the twin turbo V6 in this car is gonna make its way into the Levante, into the new Grecale, and um, other future models. So this is like not only the halo car, but also uh, talking about the future. So engine specs, it is a three liter twin turbo v6 it develops 621 horsepower and 500 and i believe it's 38 foot pounds of torque uh let me show you that engine actually so we can open the door and i apologize in advance i'm using a new gimbal so the video's a bit wonky at times that's why all right let's pop the hood all right so up we go and there it is three liter twin turbo v6 it's sunken pretty deep into the car uh, which is actually kind of similar uh, to the sf90 um, one thing two reasons why it's also very deep inside in this car um, maserati is going to make a convertible version of this car and a fully electric one so we have a couple things to look forward there here's a shot of the rear um, in terms of performance specs, it does 60 and 2.9, and it tops out at 202 miles an hour. Let me show you the front again. So from a design perspective, this car is actually quite elegant. There isn't a whole lot of a big look at me kind of arrow going on. Then uh, that's intentional. According to Maserati, they didn't want to put any like overly obvious arrow on this car they wanted to keep it elegant and i think they really did that so up front we have the well-known maserati front fascia it channels air into the main radiator and we have these two smaller coolers on each side but we also have these elements here on the hood um which are really nicely integrated if they're if you don't know they're there um you may not even look for them and right here behind the front wheels you'll see that we have a way for the air to channel out of the wheel well and wrap around through the car. So it's not that there's no arrow here, it's just that it's not too over the top. And in the back, you're gonna notice there's no wing. There's also no active spoiler. So it's all one solid piece. It's, you know, again, understated. And I think that's for the better. What do you guys think of the rear? Um, I really like the rear of this car. Um, it's again not too complicated smooth lines and i think it'll age really really well so we do have two exhaust tips in the bumper and it's really not as loud as i thought it would be i feel like from the inside you get a lot of turbo noise but not a lot of exhaust noise which is a bit disappointing but speaking of the inside door goes up i feel like all supercar doors should go up you can see the forged carbon this is a carbon fiber uh, monocoque chassis car. So uh, here's my <laughs> camera gear case. We were doing some filming today, but here's the interior. So uh, Alcantara, carbon fiber steering wheel, carbon fiber in the center console, and you have the sort of stuck on ta uh, tablet style infotainment screen in the center. Both the tablet and the digital instrument cluster in front of the driver are the exact same size. Let me go around and show you that. All right, here we are on the driver's side. On the driver's side, we have, again, 10 and a quarter inch screen there, 
10 and a quarter inch screen in the center with this very, very nice steering wheel. We also have these blue and black seats, which are actually pretty supportive. They don't squeeze in, they don't squeeze you in too hard, but uh, they're actually pretty nice to look at and actually surprisingly comfortable. So let's see how I can do this. Let's get in here. All right, to fire it up, we have start stop button on the steering wheel. Comes to life, let's put the door down. All right, so here's what you see. Let's see if I can get this to focus. All right, uh, uh, almost had it. Oh my God, come on. Let's see. What if I move it here? Can you see that? Yes, now you can see it. Okay, cool. So this is the screen that the car starts up with. This is the GT mode. There's a little selector in the center of the dash here, which you can go from GT, Sport, and if you hold it, it goes to Corsa, which is like the more extreme mode, and it dials back stability control. Uh, one thing that I find kind of interesting is this ring here looks like the bezel, sorry, uh, yeah, it's the bezel on a dive watch. Kind of interesting. So uh, here's the main screen, the center. Has Apple CarPlay connectivity, navigation, all the usual suspect. It's a bit small, and I think in this interior, it feels like a bit of an afterthought. It's just like a stuck on screen. It's not great. Uh, but the instrument cluster changes as you move through the mode. So that's Sport. Let's move into Corsa, and we get this uh, uh, layout here. So very cool, very dynamic. I like that a lot. And there's a launch control button right on the steering wheel so you can go straight into launching this car um kind of cool so let's go back out you know I've, I've done a lot of talking let me let me see do you guys have any questions anything you want to know about this car or learn about it or anything um it could be either this car or anything else we've tested uh i haven't been on uh, on live here on instagram before but uh had a Ventador ultimate about two weeks ago we've driven the new sto like could be about anything let's see let's see we have a lot of people saying it's nice saw some people knocking it for being a v6 i definitely could see that i could see that you know a car like this you'd kind of expect a v8 but the reason there's a v6 is because they want to um put this engine into other products let's see is the car ceramic coated it is not ceramic coated i believe this car has ppf this car is owned by maserati and comes straight from them so i would assume it's fully ppf let's see uh hitting the launch i wish i could i wish i could hit the launch Ooh, storage space yes um actually no somebody asked for the rev let's go for a rev um not too much though i'm not trying to get kicked out of this parking lot but we'll go for a little rev um i doubt you'll hear very much but we can give it a go All right. Did you guys hear it? Did that? Did it catch the audio? It's really quiet. It's a really quiet car. You hear more turbo sound than anything else. Uh, but for the person that asked for storage space, uh, Taylor, I can see here. Okay, cool. Uh, here's the storage space. I have a tripod case in there right now, and a Gatorade or something like that. It's pretty. It, it can hold. Like if you want to go grocery shopping, you could probably do that. Uh, maybe fit like one duffel bag in there. But there's definitely not as much storage as you'd want for like a, a weekend away or something like that. Drive it? Uh, yes, I will actually be able to drive this. Uh, I, we, I filmed the video driving this car and it'll be up on our YouTube page. If you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please make sure to do that because we have all sorts of videos. And while you're here, I will say the Aventador video we did recently, I put a lot of production uh, value and time into that one. So if you can give that a watch, I highly, highly recommend it. Let's see, what else we got? What else we got? What's the horsepower? 621 horsepower, 538 foot-pounds of torque. Let's see, let's see what else we got. Those turbo noises, yes! Uh, you get a lot of uh, spooling and wastegate noise, but um, not a lot of actual exhaust noise. This actually reminds me of the F8 that I drove a few months ago. Um, a lot of turbo noise, not that much exhaust noise. It's actually kind of quiet. 
Now I've showed you the front enough. Let's look at the side profile here real quick. There's a side profile. I think there's a lot of really smooth lines on this car and it'll allow it to age really, really well. Um, I think this car is more beautiful than it is necessarily like a all out driver's car. And I think there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Um, dual clutch, yes, it is a dual clutch. It is an eight speed automatic uh, dual clutch, really fast, really, really smooth. There's actually, um, it's surprisingly smooth, especially when you compare it to the Aventador that we drove a few a few weeks ago. So that Aventador was absolutely crazy. What about the frunk? Someone finally said, it. okay, yes, the frunk. I am convinced there is none. I'm pretty sure there is no frunk. Uh, either there is no frunk or I cannot find the release for a frunk, but I'm gonna go ahead and say that there is no frunk. And part of it might be because we have um, these outlets here for the air to cross over the hood. So it may be that everything in the front end here is functional, um, but I don't see any latch or anything for a frunk. So let's see. We need a face reveal. Ah, you know where you can see my face? On, um, on our YouTube page. I stand up and I talk about cars all day long. So if you want a face reveal, you could definitely go there. Um, well, I think if you guys don't have any more questions for me, I'm gonna end the live stream right there. Um, please make sure to leave suggestions of any other cars you'd like to see. Upcoming, I have, let's see, I've got an Audi e-tron. Uh, GT, which is really nice. Uh, I did a video on that. Upcoming, we have M5 CS, uh, GLE 63, and I'm pretty much just about to get on schedule for a 765 LT. So, yep. So anything you guys want to see, please make sure to leave that in the comments. But until next time, take care.